Hey guys, so today I'll just be doing a kind of foundation routine with a new foundation that I'm really excited to try. I received the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation and the stick complimentary from Influencer for testing purposes. So thank you Makeup Forever for the for the Ultra HD um, foundation sample. So as you guys already know, I've loved this foundation already. I already know I love it. Um, so I'm not going to use this one today. I'm going to use the stick to see how I like it because I've actually been wanting to try it. But I saw they put me in that Vox box for it. So I ended up not buying it and they just sent it to me. So today I'm going to go ahead and try that out. So first I'm going to go in and use the Makeup Forever um, step one, skin equalizer. I already washed my hands and my face like about an hour ago. Figured I would use this, um, primer since I'm using their foundation. It doesn't matter, I'm just trying to keep it the same. I have, I love this one too. And I have a bunch of others that I really like, as you guys should know. Um, so yeah, now I'm just going to go in and I'm going to take this stick. And if anyone is wondering, I am the shade 115 equals R230. Um, the ones I had before were actually like too dark because I got them over summer. But yeah, so I got my right color now, which is good. This actually looks like it matches me pretty well. Not how much to use. I've never used this, but probably like caking all way too much, but oh. Now I'm just going to take my Morphe M439 brush and blend that out. The reason I love these foundations is they aren't like super full coverage. I mean, obviously you can still see my freckles, which I like that. I don't like covering up my freckles like completely personally. Um, and I like how it's still really buildable, which the liquid is a little bit harder, I think, to build unless you're using like a sponge without like looking cakey. But like using this stick, is, I can tell it's definitely buildable. Um, cause the liquid is like kind of almost watery. I don't know how to describe it. If you've used it, you probably know what I'm talking about. Alright, so now I'm just going to go with my concealer and I'll be using the NARS concealer in the shade Chantilly. I don't know. This is my new favorite, um, concealer at the moment. I was like always about that Urban Decay one, but I tried this out. And basically my wallet regrets it because they're more expensive, but I really do like these so much more. So if you have like the extra couple of dollars to splurge on a concealer, I would definitely try this one out. I mean, if you don't like it, you can always just return it to Sephora, but I really like it. Alright, so I'm just going to take my damp Morphe sponge and... It out. This Morphe sponge is also my new favorite. I've been using this one a lot. Um, I just think it doesn't leave too much product and it doesn't pick up too much because I have some I get from like Target or something and they pick up like all my product. And then I feel like the normal beauty blender is just a little bit too dense for me personally. I do like it but I feel like it will make me look cakey because it doesn't really pick up anything. Because I know I'm heavy handed, so. I 
figured I would try to keep this video just my foundation just because I'm going to do a BoxyTor unboxing after this and I'm pretty sure we got an eyeshadow palette so I wanted to just do it while I'm unboxing it. I figured that would be something new to try. So if you're wanting to see how I do the rest of my makeup today, you can watch that video because I'll probably get it up the next day. Just so everyone knows. Alright, I'm definitely good on that now. So next I'm going to go with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit in the shades Light to Medium. I love this. I have this in the Kat Von D, but this one is my new go-to. I used to always use the Kat Von D, but I've just used this one so much more. So I dipped it in the banana shade and the one left to it. And I'm using the Morphe M438 brush. And I put that everywhere. I put concealer to set my concealer. And then I always put a little bit over my eyes. Alright. So now that I have that done, I'm going to go in. Oh, excuse me. The hiccups. So I'm going to go with my Lori. Oh, Lori. Laura Mercier. Oh, Mercy. God. I'm sorry I can't talk today. This translucent powder. And I'm going to use this brush. This is my Morphe E3 brush. I'm just going to dip into that and put it on the outer parts of my face before going with bronzer just because I want to have a powder base before I do my bronzer just so it doesn't get sticky like looks uneven when I put it on sometimes that happens and if you have that issue you might try something like this you can use this or just powder foundation I just seem to know and have figured out that it works really well for me so I figured it might work for people too so next I'm gonna go in with some bronzer and I'm gonna use the Mac give me Sun so I was a little worried when I first started using this because it looks orange in the fan, but I promise when you start putting it on, it looks normal. So I'm going to use this Morphe M523 brush and just lightly dip in. Start bronzing up my face a little bit. Because I am butt white. I need a spray tan. I was going to have my boyfriend give me one because we have spray tanning stuff to do, like this mobile tanning, but I saw that they were sending me foundation in my current color, so I figured that would defeat the purpose to get it and not be able to use it. So I wanted to wait a while. But I am so white. Okay, it feels like it looks so much smoother when you use other powder first. Alright, so next I'm going to go in with some blush. And I'm going to go into my BH Cosmetics Glamorous Brush 10 Color Palette. It looks like that. So I'm going to dip in to this one and this one mixed to do my blush and I'll be using the Morphe E51 brush okay so that I'm going to put a little bit more so usually when I put I think is too much already on people will tell me like they can barely see it I think it's just the lighting in here isn't that great so yeah I'm gonna take that um brushes 
for translucent powder and just kind of make sure everything's blended out okay. Alright, so now that my cheeks are all frozy, I am going to go in and do highlight since it is part of my face. And I'm just going to use good old champagne pop for my highlight because this is what I usually wear. This or the new Becca Rose Quartz Lately Leaks. I'm loving that. So I'm going to dip in with my Morphe M501 and highlight. I like the dusty my chin with it a little bit. You don't have to, but I like to. I like glowing. Like a mad person. Alright, so that is everything. So I have to say I do really like this new Makeup Forever Stick Foundation so far. I'm going to obviously wear it the rest of the day and I'm probably going to use a little bit more. But it feels like the same coverage as their Liquid, which I love. And you guys know this, this is like my staple foundation. I love the Makeup Forever. So... I think I really like it, so if you're wanting to try it out, I would definitely try it out. I know it's been out for a while, I just haven't gotten around to trying it. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you want to see how I finish with my makeup, then watch my BoxyCharm unboxing video. Bye guys!